Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Maid here. Welcome everybody. So, some news a little bit. So ever since this last update, I think I'm using, was it 0 .199, 0 .217? Yeah, ever since the last update, I can't use OBS to record. It just crashes the game. But I, I, right now I'm using my good old faithful, I'm using Fraps. So you know, this will create astronomically large files, but at least we'll get everything in there and hopefully through the editing process it won't be too bad. So yeah, so here if you notice these lights are yellow. That's because some of the systems aren't in critical anymore, but most of the systems still are because yeah, we've taken over this base of course. Right? I kind of did a little bit of work, I added these rails in because I wanted to see how it looked. I kind of envision this kind of platform that can move up and down t to the different levels. And we'll actually make it happen. We'll make it rail compliant. Down here, we'll see. Oh no, we're falling. We're falling. Ah, see, once I've fallen, we have to fall out of gravity. I think to get back up. <laughs> oh, that's the thing with gravity, and that's yeah. We need some working elevators so that way, if we do fall, we can call it down. So I'm just gonna fall right down here. We so all the way down here, you'll notice that I removed this platform because this platform is going to come all the way down and then it's going to go all the way up and now I'm screwed uh, let's see can I let me turn the lights on and off they changed the lighting a bit so I tell you what I'm going to make my way back up there and yeah I'll be right back so we are back up here so if you notice right here we have an undetonator I'm going to use that just to make sure we respawn here I figured I'd replace one of these with an undetonator. I move the factual module here, as this is the inner core of the base, so it should be the most protected, basically. And let's hop into our build block. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of work around here. So what have I done? I've cleared out this area here. This is where I'm going to put the manufacturing components. And then below this, in this chamber down here, I'm not sure if I want to keep it open or close it off. I might remove these pods on the side and I might put some sort of factory thing that goes up and down because we're going to need spots to put all of our, our crafters, like our, our factory enhancers. And so that's what this is for. So yeah, so let's go up here. So make sure you all grab your drinks and your tasty treats because I know I certainly have. And so on this level here, you're going to notice that this is all cleared out. There used to be beds and stuff here. I got rid of those. We'll probably put storage and stuff in here for the base. Um, probably some storage for the store module. We're going to replace one of these with the store module, I think. Over here, do we have a store module? Shop module, I think. Or store. Yeah, we might have to buy one. I don't think I have any of those. So if we quickly... Transporter, public permission. Yeah, I don't think I have any. We're going to have to go back and we're going to have to go to one of the shops and buy some. I need to do a supply run. So that is definitely a thing. Okay. So, yeah. So, what else? What else? So, let's see. Let's take a peek through here. I've added these kind of. Uh, what is it? I've added these sort of things. These. These gravity generators everywhere. So that way you people can be aligned with gravity. I've kind of redid this area here. I made a ramp. Kind of looks cool. This is the button for this thing. And then down over here we have the inner door. And then there's the door to the ship, of course, right? So I think we walk like this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Duh, silly me. I forgot I was in the build block. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's how we can open and close doors. We can't open that uh, the, the other door because I think it's on the ship. So... I don't think we can manipulate the ship with this, with the build block. Yeah, see, we can't do that. Only just the same kind of entity, I guess, that you're in. I'm almost done with the, the docking stuff. I have to fix that up a bit. Over here, you'll notice, there's a new addition. So this addition is going to be the shipyard. This is kind of me laying out the initial kind of length. The length is going to have to go considerable in both directions. So, which means that the ship where it's parked should be good. 
because the, the shipyard is going to extend out past this area on both sides. And then down here you'll notice, uh, let's see, maybe not with this one, but one of these, I put glass in place. And I think it looks okay. Let's see here, where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, this one. This one has glass in front of it. And I think I like it. I might put the crystal the armor in there instead. But I think it does the trick. So that way we can you keep up uh, the people outside and, and the people inside. And, and eventually we can have all this area here pressurized. And this is going out to the outside. That's kind of cool. I like that. I also put it over here and so yeah and so so over here with this edition so what I did here is I kind of replicated the same clamping thing here and then we'll finish off this kind of structure and we'll make it look better on the outside kind of mimic the look of this structure a little bit and so here in here you're gonna kind of come down this hallway so you will come down here it will be this hallway here and then boom, bam, this will be the the floor for the the shipyard. And then you'll be able to come up to here. You'll be able to use this thing. This is the, the inventory for the shipyard. So this will be connected. So if I go C, V, it'll be connected like that. And yeah, then you'll be able to observe the ship being constructed in front of you, no matter how big. So that's kind of the plan I have. And so with the shipyard thingies there's these thingies here these modules need to be about 32 blocks apart from each other that's basically the gist of it so if I have one there and I have another one here just basically in front of this thing so that way it doesn't obscure the view so now is that 32 blocks apart or is that too far Let's take a quick peek here. So how do we know? I think we can use this thing. I think the Z, yeah. We put this to 32, 31, 32. Yeah, see, so I think these fit perfectly within the 32. So we could get away with that. And then repeating from there, we could go more. But I might just have another one in the middle here, like so and kind of have it go uniform across so kind of was it let's see let's let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and on block sixteen i think that's what we'll do but i thought that's what this side would be it should be both the same right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect. So I think that's what we'll do. So we'll have 15 blocks in between. And so on number 16, we shall place another one. So I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I will come back when I have something you're considerable done. Okay, perfect. So here we are. We are back. So this is kind of like roughly the size of the rings that I'm going to put in. I'm hoping they line up with the bottom. It looks like they do, but just visually from that distance, if you notice, it doesn't look like they are, but they should be. Everything should be exact because everything is done in like a symmetry plane. Yeah, see, it looks like it should line up with that, which is good. So I've turned these symmetry planes on to kind of help me. So this is, I think, the size that we'll go for. It should put my whole ship in there it should be able to fit in here we still have to put an anchor in there i'm not sure where probably roughly in the middle because usually when i build ships i build them from like a central core area and if you notice my ship will have the core kind of like in the middle up front here in there so in this ship in the the, the runabout so and i'm not sure how the shipyard behaves with the docked entities so we're gonna have to mess around with that so, yeah, so this is kind of like where the shipyard's going to be. And then we'll make it look a little bit more pretty. We'll add some, some funky stuff to it and all that erasmataz. And then here with this underneath, I want to put the storage down in here. We're going to have to kind of cap it off. I want to make it similar like this. 
So I have to replicate the same kind of pattern on the bottom and the top and close this area off and then we'll figure out about kind of like system wise. This is going to continue to, to tell me that it's not going to operate because I need an, an anchor and I don't think I have a shipyard core anchor. Let's take a look and for, yeah, no, I don't have, we'll have to do a little trip, a little shopping trip here. So I think that's what we will do. I'm going to hop out of this. Oh. And go out of connection mode. Will it continue to do that? I hope not. Oh man, that's going to be annoying. Very annoying. So let's pop back in here. We should still be in gravity. Okay, where is our ship? So if that's the shipyard, I think our ship is over this way. Let's see if I'm correct. Unless it's behind us. But yeah, no, let's. I turned myself around. Let's check. Uh, no, that's not it because there's no. There's no ramp, if you notice. So let's go over onto this side here. Man, this is the blast. I like taking over a station. Okay, that's the shipyard. So this is our ship over here. And I'm gonna need to somehow do indicator lights on the inside. I figured I want to add some sort of logic, so that way when a ship is docked, you know, you kind of roughly know where the ship is or which which entrance it's at. This is our typical storage. So right now, this is our all our cargo right now. And I don't think I need any cargo. I don't think I'm going to sell anything either. So if I turn this into my normal cargo here. And let's kind of let's make sure let's grab. Well, shoot. We're going to change our personal cargo. I think that's what we need to do. So let's activate this. Act, ah, come on. Activate that. Excellent. We can safely walk onto here. See, there's now a solid connection, which is good. Open this up. I never like to leave my own doors open. <laughs> I guess we could put sensors into play to make this kind of automated, but I don't know. We'll do this. We'll do this to make sure that we're nice and safe. Okay, so here's our ship. So we need to turn one of these back into... Yeah, I think this we turn this one back into our personal cargo, which means we'll have nothing. This is the one that we basically have everything connected to. This, this salvage array should be connected to this one, not that one, right? And then I think this one is connected. No, it's not. Okay, this one could be connected to this one. So that way we can pull it out, but we'll just use this as our personal storage this side. And eventually we won't have to worry about that at all. There is a ship up here I could use for personal storage. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, this looks a lot nicer in here now. They changed the lighting a little bit in the last update. So let's see. If we go into here, 1.2, so just a tiny amount. It's not even worth it. That was my first kind of ship, and so I just want to keep it for to reminisce. So, And then this is the second ship that we created, right? This one right here. And then the third one we're going to create is going to be a fleet ship. So that will be for the fleet battles that we're going to have on the, the server here. Which probably might be in a couple weeks. I hope not because I'm not ready for it whatsoever. And so I'm trying to get my, my shipyard and we won't actually fly away, don't we? I want to create a seat here somewhere. I usually just sit on the floor to align myself to the ship. And then we enter the core. Let's zoom out. Zoom out. Oh, we're in build mode. We're in build mode. I shouldn't zoom out. <laughs> Let's just press Z key to get into flight mode. And I think we can... Here we go. We're in the front. And how do we... Oh, yeah. Control, scroll up. One of these bad boys is the one side. I wish you could rename these. Okay, there we go. We are disconnected. Let's kind of turn around here, take a quick peek at our ship, uh, our base. Uh, it's going to be so amazing to have the final, the shipyard. It's going to be just a standard design, nothing special. I also want to do this. See this asteroid here? It's a big asteroid. We do definitely want to harvest that, so that's going to be a thing. Oh man, this base is turning out quite nicely. There's these lights I want to create. I want to change them to turn green. So that way you know which one to dock into. So 
so if there's not a ship there then you'll be able to dock into something so let's go into our map okay so we just need to go to the nearest guy it should be right here plot path to currents we probably don't even need to warp there let's see here we're going the right direction already yeah the turning rate on this ship is crappy and that's the only thing i don't like so i'm going to fly towards this direction here and i will meet you over at the shop okay here we are we're at the shop that we were going to so let us go into our inventory make sure we're in this one so we need a couple things right we need to buy let's see here we need to buy shipyard stuff so we need a shipyard core anchor so there's 21,000 units here no problem let's buy uh, let's buy only one. If we need to buy more, we can buy more. This is pretty unique, and we can build these as well, so they're probably not too bad. These modules, though, we're going to buy a lot of these bad boys. I'm um, going to buy probably about 1,000 of these, maybe. Let's buy 5,000. How much is that? 2.4 million, is that what that says? Oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. We'll get this money back. No problem. <laughs> so we got the computer. We got these. Uh, what else do we need? I think I also need some white blocks. Actually, no, I don't know if I need white blocks because I have a lot of those. Let's just take a quick peek through here. So space station stuff. We want a shop module. So let's just buy. Let's buy. Uh, yeah, let's just buy one of these. We'll figure it out. Warp gate. I'm not gonna really worry about yet too far. That's gonna be the next project to build a big warp gate. So that's course something that, that we want to do manufacturing I want to buy all this stuff just because we're gonna use it at some point you know, even the scrap stuff here we can use so let's see can I too bad it doesn't tell you how heavy this stock is so that way you know you could do the math like mass 0 0.01 times this value right which be what 49 I think would be the star the the size so if I go buy them out, 4922, this would be 4.9, 4.9, so what, so this should be what, 4.0 maybe, 4026, yeah, 4.0, okay, so that's kind of cool, so yeah, I guess we can figure it out with math, I don't like math too much, <laughs> so I'm just going to buy some stuff here, and then I'll head back to our base and then yeah and then we'll we'll finish off the shipyard there and you'll see what we'll do yeah okay here we are we are coming in to the asteroid here with our our station we're coming in kind of where the shipyard is Ooh, and yeah coming up with the air yes yes i know we're actually upside down Let's kind of do this. There is a button to turn into Galactic North or whatever, but I'm not sure what that key is. It's on the keyboard. It's like H or G. No, it's something along those lines. V, no. Uh, B, no. You're not near any shop that's for buying. Okay, that's fine. So we have this asteroid here. I want to kind of harvest this, this asteroid here while we're here. Gonna just kind of tear this apart. Let's kind of go like this so I don't hit my own station. Kind of like this. I'm just gonna chew it up like this. Uh, I sold a whole bunch of dirt. There's the, the red dirt from that one asteroid that was near the shop. So I was mining that asteroid and completely obliterated that one. And so this one is gonna be more for, I think, the carved blocks. Because this purple stuff turns into some carved stuff. And for these materials, right? Sintir and Threns. I think that's what we need for more of the the shipyard module thingies. But but we have that. So I tell you what. Let's actually dock in here. I'm going to dock at one of these. Let's dock at this one here. Let's see if we can kind of dock at this one. If I go like this, over... Okay, I think we can do this. I just don't know if control. Uh, yeah, this is the one. One of these, I wish you could rename these. Maybe you can, I just haven't checked it out. So let's see here. Oh, there we go. Let's. Um, 
zap. Okay, I think we are. <laughs> not sure if we're the right direction, but let's hop out of flight mode. Let's go into build mode here. Let's just make sure that okay we have everything with us. Okay, and then we have a whole bunch of materials here that we're going to suck in from the station. So let's hop out of our ship. Get up. We're going to have to put a teleporter on our ship. That's another thing we need to do. So let's see. Where is our station? Oh, this is exciting, folks. Okay. So, there is this. this. This is all complete. Good. Uh, which one? These force fields are closed. How about these ones? There we go. And then we close those ones. Perfect. Here we are. We'll have to clear up. Oh. Okay, so maybe this is not the dock that we want. <laughs> We're going to have to figure that out. I'll figure that out. I'll worry about that later. Okay, so let's gonna make it actually straight through here. Because this will take me up to the central part. Perfect. Okay, and then here's the build block that we can enter. Perfect. Okay, now let's... Let's find our old, this is our old storage. That's right. Okay, so let's, I think I can shift click it into there. Yeah, it should all go into there nicely. And we throw this stuff in there to this and this. Okay, I think we can essentially safely turn this off. And then we can go into here and go, ah. Uh, use as personal cargo. I play this game in 1280 by 720 because it's just the, you graphically for whatever reason my computer yeah they need to optimize this game a lot more still so okay so now we have our new shipyard modules let's go way over here let's re-implement that whole this whole thing uh, let's see on this and then I think this plane, no, not this plane, this plane. Where's the middle, though? I thought I had the middle. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, the middle, I think, is like in the middle of this. So, for example, it's, I think, right here. This is the middle. So if I click there, I think that will be the middle. If we go out, yes. That looks like the middle, doesn't it? Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replicate these things. I'm going to replicate them down, I don't know, a couple hundred, three hundred blocks, and in total maybe, and enough to put my ship in, and enough to build a whole new ship. So I'm I'm estimating my new ship will be about 300 to 400 blocks long. Uh, definitely almost 100 blocks wide. That's why I kind of did the length. I might have to increase the length of these. I'm not 100%, but we will see once that happens. So, yeah. So, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, this episode of running around, harvesting, and all that fun stuff. I'm going to work on the, the inventory system and whatnot, and we'll probably do that together in the next one, maybe. So, yeah. So, I'm going to continue working on this stuff. You'll see the finished product of this. Basically, it's just going to be me kind of creating these guiders, and then I'll be using the symmetry to create more rings. Maybe I can even copy and paste this this ring. You know, that might be even faster. I'll have to look into doing that. But yeah, but thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye!